Hey there, darlings, and happy wheel a -meal. I got a new category called Holiday Must Tries, and this is one for the books. How about some charred corn and onions stuffing with some chops and yams? Darling, keep on watching and see if you want to add this to your holiday festivities. Thanksgiving just around the corner. Enjoy. Hey, everybody. Shift Eddie here. Are you babies ready for the next wheel meal? I certainly am. Let's get to spinning. Oh, I added a new category. Let's take a look. Holiday mess tries. And cooking for two. Date night with your boo. What we cooking? Holiday must haves. Protein. Pork. Sides or accompaniments. Bread. Darlings, with the holidays fast approaching, there's certain holiday must haves. Y'all must try. Everybody always loves their stuffing or their dressing. So right now, I'm fixing to make a corn and onion stuffing. Grab a pan, freeze it up with your butter. Darling, it also said we had to have some pork. So how about some pork chop nuggets or fingers I hadn't decided yet with a red wine reduction sauce? Yes, chef. Now for those of you who watched my video the other day, and I thank you, when I made the charred corn for that Mexican street corn, coleslaw, darlings, we're going to do the same. We're going to use some charred corn. Grab 10 ounces, add it to your pan, along with one jalapeno pepper, chopped. To that, add in two chopped up celery and your onion, one small one, chopped up and diced. Already smelling so good, and I want you to char all of this. While that's cooking, go grab however many pork chops you want. It doesn't matter. I decided to leave them hold. I think it'll be a better presentation. Now, I want you to season them whatever type of seasoning y'all want. This is Chef's Hall Grub. Yes, it is. I make it myself. Delicious. Now I want you to go set them aside and turn on that deep fat fryer because that's what we're using. Now that it's beautifully charged, add in about a teaspoon of your liquid smoke. Yes. Y'all about to set that Thanksgiving on fire, darlings. And you're welcome. Y'all, smell this. Good Lord in the morning. Go turn off your corn. Preheat your oven to 400. Grab one large pan. Add in one 14 and a half ounce can of your cream corn. One box of your favorite stove top stuffing mix. Remember this yumminess? Add that to it. Add in a quarter cup of water. Crack in two large eggs. A teaspoon of your poultry season. A pinch of black pepper. Now go melt a quarter cup of butter. Add it in. Combine it up well. Now go scoop up that buttered pan that we buttered earlier. Smells amazing. Now I want you to spread it out. And I want you to take it to the oven for about 20 minutes. If you find yourself in front of your pantry sheet and a bowl with two cups of flour, that's where I want you to be. There's a video one. Go scoop it up. Now, if y'all ain't got your pantry chick by now, y'all need to tell your husbands and wives that Christmas is coming up. It's just around the corner. Click the link in my bio. Go grab out one. Shh, but don't tell them. To this flour, we're going to simply add some salt and black pepper. And that's because we already seasoned our pork chops in the first video. Go scoop it up like I said. Please, flour your pork chops both sides. Add in those pork chops one at a time. I'm using the boneless ones. That's totally up to y'all. Now drop it like it's hot. Now I'm going to let these cook for about five minutes because I'm going to take them to the pan on the stove so we can make our reduction sauce. Now go scoop up your pork chops. Add them to your fry pan because we want an internal temperature of 145. That's how we're going to finish it so that we can deglaze this pan with that red wine pan sauce. Yes, chef. This is gorgeous. And if y'all don't have a deep fat fryer, you can also use the top of the stove. Don't be bougie. Once it reaches 145, I want you to take them out of the pan. Sit them on the plate. See that yummy goodness? We about to deglaze it. Add in three crushed garlic cloves. Let that cook for about a minute until it gets nice and fragrant. Don't burn it. Now grab a quarter cup of your favorite red wine and I want you to deglaze it. Scraping up all those flavors of the pork chop that might be stuck to the pan. Now that it's reduced a little bit, I want you to take two tablespoons of your flour and whisk it in. Then two cups of your Nora's beef broth, add it in and give it a whisk until everything is nice and smooth, darlings. Go check on that stuff and now you want to give it a taste. Don't do what I do. Yes, chef. Now if it tastes like you can drink it right out of the pan, you've hit the money spot. Grab a tablespoon of your butter, add it in, give it a swirl. Remember, I always tell y'all that. And this is how you finish your gravies, darlings. Nice, silky, and smooth every time. Now, one of two things can happen. You can add your pork chop back to this yummy gravy, 
Or y'all can leave it as it is. Go grab that stuffing. Give it a fluffing. And darlings, y'all know exactly what time it is. Well, good Lord, in the morning, darlings, look at this beautiful plated charred corn and onion stuffing chef has for y'all this is a holiday must try to try right now darlings i snuck some yams in there candied yes i did and look at those beautiful pork chops and this pan gravy we just made darlings this is truly southern on a plate now in our mouths yes chefs hunties p.s and yes bon appetit the star of the show have mercy. That char. Babies, y'all have been served. Thanks for watching. Mm. What did I tell y'all? The question remains. What do y'all think? Would you add this to your holiday must-try Thanksgiving this year? Why not? Scoop up the recipe. I want to thank y'all for watching, following, liking, commenting, whatever you do. Share it, darlings. Happy Thanksgiving. It's just around the corner. I'll see y'all at the next Wheel of Meal. Holiday must tries. There's one for the books. I am your sweet Southern Miss here, Chef Dee. Until next time.